Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. This is God's Son Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, again, the Lord had me to speak to you. He said, again, <laughs> again and again, there is a way that seems right unto the people who are attacking your life. But God is saying that their end is destruction. Because they refuse to repent. Hallelujah. I hear this word again and again this season. And the Lord is saying that their pain, their punishment, their, their reward, it will be something that is too heavy that they cannot even bear it. You know, <laughs> just like the day of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know how it was. You know, the days of Noah, you know how it was. After the ark was shot, the people that were outside the ark, they were not able to bear it. They were not able to swim the flood. They were not able to survive. No matter how high they climbed the mountain, how high they climbed the trees, their reward met them in that place where they are. So, child of God, there is a reward for those who are attacking your life. It might look beautiful now how their life looks like. They might be celebrating. They might be drinking. They might be eating. But there is a reward ahead and this re this reward it is a punishment that they can't bear hallelujah that they can't bear glory to jesus you know when <clears throat> when the wickedness in the land of noah when there was a lot of wickedness in that land on the earth you know they were one but they never listened not that they did not hear that is why i keep telling you that sometimes you don't have to you have to understand that it is people's fault that they don't change. It is not God's fault, it is not your fault. It is their own fault. Not that they have not heard. The Bible recorded that Noah announced in the in the whole city, in the whole land, telling them, Oh, you have to repent, you have to change. Flood is coming, repent, turn to God. But they hear they heard about it, but they choose not to heed. Not to listen, not to obey that statement. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If Nineveh, if Nineveh did not repent, when God sent his servant there, Jonah, and said, Tell the people of Nineveh that their, their wickedness on this earth is too great. I'm going to destroy Nineveh. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. If Nineveh choose not to have listened, the land will not be destroyed. So it's not about Oh, why would they be destroyed? Ah, God should not let them be destroyed. It is what they choose. People choose destruction. People de choose destruction. It is not your fault and it is not God's fault. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And the Lord is saying that the punishment is greater than something that they can bear. So therefore, the punishment may end them. Punishment end people. Don't you know? Punishment end people. When you see people, people died in the prison, you will understand that it is because of the punishment that they receive there. The punishment that they receive the beating. You know, the abuse and all of that. You see, here yeah, somebody died in a custody. Why? Because he or she was beaten wrongly. Beaten to that point, to that stupor, to that point where he or she could not bear it. You know, it is not all punishment that is bearable. The, 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 the judgment of the law that is coming upon the wicked it is not something that is bearable. They cannot bear it. They are going to nag and complain that the punishment is too great. No matter how beautiful they, they, they are living their life now, enjoying the attack that they are sending against you, a time will come where they will face the reward of, of their action. Hallelujah. Now hear what the Bible says in the book of, um, the book of Isaiah. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 13 in verse 10. In verse 10, hallelujah. The Bible talk about how Babylon will be punished. When you read the book of Isaiah chapter 13, you will see the punishment of Babylon. You will see how God 
punish the land of Babylon. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Father. It becomes a burden because of what they did. There was a heavy burden in the land. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 13 verse 10, it says, For the stars of heaven and the castellation therefore shall not give their light. Say the sun shall be darkened in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. In verse 11, the Bible says, For I will punish the world, I will punish the world for their evil. So no matter how those that I guess God are living life large now, there is a punishment waiting for them. And God is saying that that punishment is something that they cannot bear. You know, you can look at the world and you're like, ah, people who don't even serve God, who are not even born again, they are doing so well. You look at them financially, they have the money physically, you know, they have beautiful houses, they have all of that. But there is something you don't see beyond that physical. There is a punishment behind what they carry physical hallelujah glory to jesus it is only god that blesses us and when he blesses us he said be fruitful and multiply so when you are fruitful and multiplying in the right path with god in line with god you will see that there will be no evil punishment that is waiting for you hallelujah glory to jesus glory above father he said and i will punish the world for their evil I will punish the world for their evil. As a child of God, that is, this is why it is so very important for us not to join the train of the evil that is in this world. Because there is a punishment waiting for every one of them that live a wicked and evil life. You understand? It can be tempting sometimes. You just want to follow the train. You just want to like, let me be like them. If you cannot beat them, join them. No. If you cannot beat them, be on your own. They can't still beat you. Hallelujah. The statement that says if you cannot beat them, join them is a lie. Because it is not everything you join. It is not everything you associate yourself with. It is not everything you accept. It is not everything you allowed into your life. Hallelujah. Because there is a punishment. There is a punishment for everyone or for those who practice wickedness. Let them have the whole world now, like the beautiful vanity, like they got it in the wrong way. Fine, let them have it. But there is a punishment. That is what God is saying to you. That is why the Bible says that we should not envy the wealth of the wicked. The book of Proverbs, glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. He said the riches of the wicked, we should not even look at it. Because there is going to be a very dangerous ending for that wicked man, for that wicked woman. The Bible says, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And now we cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And we lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So there is a reward for them that live a haunting life. There is a, terrible, a reward for them that live in arrogancy of pride. The Bible says that pride will cease. Hallelujah. It says, I will cause the arrogancy of the proud. Because the proud, they are very arrogant. They act as if no one is like them. They act as if nobody can ever come to their level. You see the arrogancy in their life. But the Bible says in verse 12, it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the than the golden wage of offer, hallelujah. And I will shake the heavens and the earth, and and the earth shall remove out of a place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger, hallelujah. The day of the Lord is coming. The day of the Lord is coming, hallelujah. The punishment of those that have, attacked, that have been attacking your child of God, it is greater. It is something that they cannot bear. And that punishment is something that, can, that they cannot escape. There is no escape route. There is no escape route. The Bible says he will cause the arrogancy of the pride to cease. You know, the Bible says pride comes before a fall. Because they dwell in arrogancy, because they are prideful, they are, they are falling already. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And I pray that any evil that has been targeting your life and your destiny, I pray that the Lord shall reward them and that pun with, with a rightful punishment that they desire in the name of Jesus. 
it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist sarah by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye